I'll be teaching a little bit about how to play hot cross buns on the cello in this video. This song has a lot of F sharp E D, so three, one, zero. That happens a lot. In fact, it happens in the first two measures. So the first measure starts at the frog. You can tell because there's a down bow symbol above it. So we start at the frog with our F sharp E D. F sharp E D. Then it's really important that you freeze your bow towards the tip. You might be all the way at the tip, you might just be close to the tip, but freeze there. Do not pick your bow up and go back to the frog because there's no comma there. So you've frozen here and you're going to get your F sharp ready and the second measure is going to start with an up bow. That's why there's a V above that uh, F sharp in the second measure. So here's the first measure again, the beginning. Ready, go. F sharp, E, D. Freeze. During that freeze you get your F sharp ready and then in the second measure you do the same thing but start at the tip. Ready, second measure. F sharp, E, D. Freeze. Again, you freeze at the frog. Or again, you freeze, and this time at the frog. The next measure has D, 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 E, 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 E. You're going to get this rhythm wrong if you don't sing the words in your head. And the words are one a penny, two a penny. You've got to say that in your head. If you don't, it's going to sound more like this. And that's really not the right answer. It's pretty inaccurate. So as you're playing this song, it's really important that you sing along. Um, let's do that third measure, one a penny, two a penny. Ready, go. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. I did the last measure as well. After this last measure, there's a rest a bow lift, and a repeat sign. So during that one rest, you have to bow lift repeat. If you're going to say something out loud, pick one thing to say. Either say rest, or lift, or repeat. Don't say all three, because then you're doing three beats of silence, and that's three rests, and we shouldn't have that. So you can either say rest, you can say lift, as in bow lift, or you could say repeat. Any of those will work. So now um, I'm going to play the last measure of the song, and I'm going to choose to say lift during that rest. So here's the last measure of the song, and then I'm going to say lift, and then I'm going to repeat. I won't say repeat, but I will repeat. So here's the last measure of the song. Lift. So that was me going back to the beginning. Now I just played the first three notes of the song again because I've repeated the song. I'm frozen at the tip, or close to the tip, and I get my F sharp ready for the next measure, which starts at the tip. And it's one a penny. One a penny, two a penny. The second time you get to the end of the song, or the end of the line, you're not going to bow lift. I know there's a comma there, but you already did it the first time. The bow lift is only needed the first time when you repeat. This is the second time, and the song is over. So you're just going to freeze like this until the conductor puts their hands down. When the conductor puts their hands down, you put your bow on your knee and your hand on the upper bat. That's called ready position.